1979, okay? 1979 was a really good year. I know many of you weren't around yet, but it was a really good year, right? Madonna, and then we have uh, Michael Jackson, Prince, and yours truly turned 21 years old. <laughs> My claim to fame. Now, of course, I didn't go into a singing career. You can tell from my voice, don't do that, right? <laughs> but no, seriously, it was a really good year for me. I turned 21. That's when I started my HR career at Sun Shipbuilding on the East Coast. And that later evolved into the work that I do today, leadership, talent development, and assessment work. So for me, it was a good year. But more, more important than that, OK, that's when the Pregnancy Act went into effect. So even with the Civil Rights Act, women still did not have equal rights. Because guess what? Prior to this time, prior to 1979, you could be fired for getting pregnant. Okay? The other thing was you could be held out of succession planning or promotional decisions because you were within childbearing years. You didn't even have to have a you didn't even have to have a baby to be discriminated against. So this really opened the doors, you know, for women to go as far as their talent, their abilities would take them. You know, at, at least that's what we thought back then, right? But never did I think that four decades later, we're 40 years later, that we'd only have 4.8% of women that are serving as CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. And we're actually going backwards. From the time I published my book in late 2017, we had a spike in 2017, and now we've dropped backwards. And we're even, even losing ground on top uh, compensated women in those Fortune 500. We went from 14% to 11%. So things just aren't going in the right direction. And even whether we're 6 or 4%, makes, it makes no difference. That's, that's just not OK. We're not making the progress we need to make. And the thing that's interesting, too, um, since I think it's 1982, women have earned more bachelor degrees than men. Since 2005, they've earned more master's and doctorate degrees. So uh, for me, that math isn't adding up. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a financial person. But it's just not making sense, right? But if you do the math and we stay on the same trajectory that we're on today, we've got a 400-year wait to achieve just 50% of those CEO positions. And we're sliding backwards. So maybe it's a little longer than that. I don't know about you. Is that OK with you? No. no. So we need to make changes. It's, it is that critical. <laughs>